Hi there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK and I speak on um, mostly about injustices. Could be in what I feel is unjust with regard to deportation, could be unjust with regard to immigration, it could be unjust injustice with regard to how the police behave in certain circumstances. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about the Windrush scheme. I didn't realise that it was open to people who were in the country before 1988. I thought it only applied to those in 1973. And there doesn't seem to be a deadline on, on applications. Um, they've already approved 3,000 um, applicants and they don't have to pay anything for the naturalisation. Nothing at all. And um, they rejected 384. I don't know on what grounds or whether it was fraudulent or what. But basically, I'm just going to read some of it so I don't get it all confused. Um, it says Commonwealth citizens who were in the UK before 1973 automatically had right of abode and unlimited leave to remain under the Immigration Act 1971. Uh, these people can apply for Windrush scheme to get naturalisation free of charge. People who came to the UK before 1973 on limited leave to remain do not qualify. So I guess they may be some of those that they rejected because I guess if you came here on limited leave to remain before 1973, it assumes you came here to visit someone or you didn't really come under the Windrush scheme. So that's why. Um, a child of a Commonwealth citizen, i.e. the Windrush generation, who was born in the UK or arrived in the UK before the age of 18 and has lived in the UK continuously since their arrival qualifies to apply. Let me read that one again. A child of a Commonwealth citizen who was born in the UK or arrived in the UK before the age of 18 and who has lived in the UK continuously since they arrived, qualifies to apply under the Windrush scheme. A person of any nationality who has arrived in the UK before the 31st of December 1988 with indefinite leave to remain, because they had still come under the immigration rules, can also apply under the Windrush scheme. Now I'm assuming, even though they say that they are looking for some kind of evidence, it might not be um, all the paperwork, but maybe your NH, your national insurance stamps, or your inland revenue, anything like that, I guess, anything during that period that will kind of place you in the country. I mean, they can't just give it to you willy nilly. So you're going to have to have some evidence. But I think the fact that it's not just 1973, but it's actually 1988, that kind of is a ray of hope for some people, hopefully. Um, the scheme also allows those in the UK to remain and those overseas to return. Mm, I don't think those immigration people are going to be too happy about that. The scheme will enable those without evidence to obtain evidence. Like I said, I'm not sure about that one. I guess there'd have to be, um, I mean, how can they just, there has, there has to be some, there's something a bit dodgy with that one. Anyway, if you're going to apply, make sure you've got some evidence. But it's a good way of getting your indefinite leave to remain if you've been here all those years, free of charge. No more, no more fees, no more renewals, you know, and you just pay it buff. Um, and this one, you know, normally I'm quite a sceptic about these things. This one, I'm not so much of a sceptic. Um, I know people have actually got it, so that's why I'm not so much of a sceptic. And, and I'm not quite sure what evidence that bloke had, but he did get it under the Windrush scheme. 
His brother, however, who came, I think, two years afterwards, didn't. Isn't that amazing, just timing? Um, what was the other thing? Children born outside the UK after 1973 and who cannot establish their indefinite leave to enter or their definite leave to remain do not qualify. So um, I am going to be looking at more of the scheme. It is a massive document, but I thought that would give you a rough idea if you do feel you may be eligible to apply for the scheme. I'd get there in quick. Um, if you didn't know about it before, or if you thought it was just for people like I did, who were in the country before 1973. There is a ray of hope for some of you who've been here since 1988. And that's all for now. Bye bye.